Hi, this is Josh Selleck with the City of Kilgore, and the video that we've prepared here has some still images and video of the flooding from today, May 2nd, 2019. The goal here is to show a different perspective. Uh, sometimes when you're on the ground, you only get to see that location, and it's hard to understand overall what's actually occurring citywide, why the water's backing up. And hopefully this video can help by taking a look at some of the aerial uh, footage that we now have the capacity to um, to capture. We're actually going to start with this Remington subdivision on the south part of town. Um, this next image shows the Remington subdivision here and you can kind of see the flood water on the left hand side uh, meandering through the, through the trees. As we spin around though what you're going to see is that uh, the tree covers really obscured most of the flood water but what we know from what we witnessed on the ground is that the floodwaters actually stretch from Whippoorwill on the left to the right side of the tree plantation that we're just passing by. As we approach Dudley in the foreground to the north, we can see clearly that the floodwaters are about 1,000 feet wide and about 10 foot deep on average. Here we're approaching Houston Street and about to pass over it. We're coming up to Meadowbrook Park and you can see the pavilion in the bottom center. Horseshoe Drive is on the left. Uh, you can see the dog park is inundated. And really again, you begin to see the tree cover. We know that the water stretches across Willow Springs on the right hand side. Um, Turkey Creek on the left is coming in and tying in with Big Head Creek, which is what we had been following. And this section of, um, of, of floodwater is what's visible from Stone Road, which is uh, just at the end of the floodwater there. As we begin this next section of video here, we are uh, picking up just on the other side of Pentecost. That's Roberts on the left, and, uh, and we're headed north past the wastewater treatment plant, which is on your left, and towards Lakewood Apartments, which are on the right there. Uh, there's a bunch of farmland in between and you can see that farmland is completely inundated here. We've got hundreds of acres of fields and pasture land that, that are underwater. Again, all of this water is water that's trying to make its way to the river. Um, and, and the reason for showing this is to show that there's no impoundment. There's not some, some one thing that's holding the water back. All of this water, last night between six and seven inches, that's trying to make its way towards the river, but there's, there's really nowhere to go. It's really just tied up here and slowly making its way out as the river has space for it. As we continue north, you can see Halliburton on your left. We're coming up on 349 with Tuttle Trucking on the right, and the loop is far to the right. We're going to jump here um, only because there wasn't a good place to set our drone up and we didn't want to lose it. Here we have uh, followed the railroad tracks just to the north to Synergy Park with Elder Lake on your right. That is the loop that we're passing over. Uh, with 31 just coming into view on the left hand side. As we passed over you could see the water again stretched pretty wide there and as we continue to the north you see I-20 coming up in the distance and we're about to connect in with Rabbit Creek. There's an oil and gas pipeline there that you can see that the water continues to stay backed up and honestly it stays like this all the way to the river. I hope this video is useful and uh, obviously if you have any questions you can contact us at Kilgore City Hall.